Hey guys, this is Anton, and today we're going to do a cinematography breakdown of this little Nike spec ad that I shot. We're going to touch on inspiration, locations, gear, editing, and of course, color grading. But before we do, let's take a look at the commercial. Spec ads are a genius marketing invention for people like in my situation. I just moved to London from China, where I lived for eight years, and I don't know anyone here. So the best way to do it is to make a spec ad so that other people can see that you are working, you are doing something, you're not just sitting around. You can send it to Nike themselves or any other brand, whoever you're making a spec ad for. And if they like it, they might hire you to do a real one. If they don't, you now have a sport commercial in your portfolio. So everybody's a winner. So let's talk about pre-production. The other day I was sitting at home in London and suddenly I remembered this TV show that I watched back when I was in uni. It's called Misfits. It's about these teens on a community service with superpowers and that location looked really cool. So I thought, what the hell? I am in London. Um, it's only an hour away. So why don't I just go and check it out? So I went there, took a bunch of photos and it looked exactly like it did in the show. Well, except for little parts that were now destroyed. For the most part, it looked really sick. I absolutely loved that place. And I thought, I don't know what, I don't know when, but I have to shoot something here. About a week goes by and I hit up my friend Andrew and I say, hey, do you want to shoot something? And he says, yeah. <laughs> We arranged the shoot on the next day and he says, I'm going to bring my skateboard. And I said, cool, um, I'll bring mine as well. So that's how that came about. The inspiration for this video came from this account on Instagram. I believe it's a French production house called pa Paume, Paume. Um, forgive me if I'm not saying it right. But I just found their editing super sick. Like I just, I love the way they edit. The shots are super snappy, it's super filmy, it's just amazing, it blows my mind. I saved this account for video editing references and it's just like it's just amazing. So I really wanted to make something similar to that. So in terms of coverage, I knew I had to get first just some random beautiful looking photographic shots, second master shots where you show the entire place close-up shots of the face, the skateboard, the, some, some little details. And for transitions, the secret sauce, I had to spin my camera around like a crazy person. So in terms of lighting, we didn't use any, not even a reflector or a negative fill. I just took advantage of the location that it was very urban. So there's lots of uh, bridges and little openings and gaps where you can use the darker spaces as a negative fill. And the rest was just to be aware of where the light comes from. So basically like using the street as your studio. In the studio, you move lights, but on the street, you move your talent. For gear, all I had was my Blackmagic 6K with a V-mount battery and some really old Canon lenses that I had, like literally the cheapest, nothing special or like cinema lenses or anything like that, like literally the most basic Canon lenses. I didn't use any ND filters um, because we're shooting in sort of blue hour, so it was pretty dark already. So I just managed by switching ISO and uh, aperture. For editing, I just picked the most usable little clips that I could cut out and line them up so that they match to the beat of the song. And wherever I felt like I just inserted these little weird bits where the camera spins like crazy. The text and the subtitles wasn't actually in the original idea. I suddenly thought of that and I asked Andrew, hey, can you write something about life in London 
or how skateboarding makes you forget about all the bullshit. And he did, and we put it in the video. He recorded everything on his phone, and I did a little bit of EQ to match with the sound design and everything. For color grading, I use these LUTs from Phantom LUTs, and man, this is the best investment I've ever made. It's around 50 bucks, and it's so worth it. My videos have never looked this good. Seriously, buy them. <laughs> to sum everything up, it was a lot of fun. I just hope that production houses and directors notice it, so at least they know that I exist. Hopefully you learned something, let me know what you thought in the comments. And also, if you want to see more of my work, follow me on Instagram at anton.yusikov.dp. It's going to be attached to the bottom of the page. Uh, thank you.